What's up everybody and welcome back to the Fat Factory. On today's episode of Should I Buy, we're going to be taking a look at Destroy All Humans. One giant step on mankind. This is kind of a reboot of, of an old series, an old idea about aliens coming to Earth and killing everybody. But we get to play as the aliens, so let's uh, jump right in and see what this is all about. Humans of planet Earth, be advised, while the experience has been upgraded, the content and historical record of original invasion of the Furons remain a near-identical clone. The story words, images contained within, we don't get the rest. Hello, friends. Have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets? marvelous beings might exist out there hands extended in friendship awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space what tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars hey Looks like Area 51. All systems go, General. Four. Come on, baby. Show us what you got. Three. What the hell? Uh-oh. Here we come. Blue blazes is that? What? what you get for shooting missiles at us? Wait. Stop the countdown. Ooh. That's, that's why you're inside of a bunker. Probably should have been a little bit further back. I don't think I don't think they they thought this ICBM launched through fully. Oh, we got our M1 Grands. Are we gonna hear any pings? Drop me a like and subscribe if you know what I'm talking about. Let me know in the comments. What kind of ping does an M1 Grand make? This is going to make a pew pew. Oh, no. Impact was too much for our little alien bodies. But we survived. Incompetent fool. I should never have sent oh. you. Like his headgear. What's shaking, Pox? You look a little, what's the word? Constipated. Let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. You lost me. Shall I tell you a secret? Few of our people know this, but the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. That's bad, right? Only if we want to retain our immortality through cloning. Of course it's bad! I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. But I lost contact. Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him, Crypto-136, to a hostile planet, and he's disappeared. Maybe captured. Maybe even being tortured as we speak. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusion. I bet you wouldn't. Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought, and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. Which? The second one. <laughs> Perhaps you're right, 137. Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta go in. We gotta crack some craniums. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, we gotta... I gotta... Brains, man. When do I get to blow things up? Patience, what I'm talking Doctor, about. Patience. I take your point. Prepare the mothership. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Doing the so, Mr. Burns. What's the name of this crummy planet? Earth. Our destination. The planet Earth. Earth. Okay, they, they've got some good CGI going on. Good story so far. 
I thought the crash landed guy was going to be who we were playing as, but it looks like we're going to be playing as 137. Okay, new mission, Destination Earth. Let's get going. Thank you! Replenish ammo with transmog. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess we could transmog, you know, cows into ammo. That, yeah, that works. Ricky. Land 42 from outer space. Because we know 42 is the answer to everything. Oh, a scarecrow to keep the birds away from the cows, huh? Analyze it, it goes moo. Or, excuse me. Oh my god, no, the cow goes shazoo. looking really beautiful I mean we, we don't kind of get the same depth and everything that you were getting from grounded but they've done done an amazing job oh cow poop uh, auto box to cryptosporidium 137 come in cryptosporidium crypto here how's the view from the safety of the mothership very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here, and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto, to ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. Surely you don't mean those foul-smelling gas bags beyond the fence. <laughs> yes, I'm afraid I do. But they're covered in nipples. Now, Cryptosporidium! Oh, if only cows were the supreme leaders. We would live in a much moo-fold world. And Crypto, do verify your okay. is working basic movement. Got some one. jump. It doesn't look like we have sprint or crouch. The minds of lower life forms via the cortex scan. Rip the preliterate thoughts from their pathetic little brains. Okay. Hello, Mr. Cow. Ah. Uh, I agree. Primitive, yet profound. Scan another one. Again with the moo. I think these lactating bovoids are trying to fool us. I'm liking the dialogue. They eat with their mouths. Ugh, I think I'm going to be violently ill. Better than Attention pumping it into our ears? This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. Mm. That was a welcome to Earth. Time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? Uh, Earth creature. That was only if it's an anal probe. You. Respond or be vaporized. Oh, delicious. I don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. Let's blast them. With your arms have evolved the astounding power of psychokinesis, Crypto. Target an object or creature, then lift it into the sky. Use PK to finish off the belligerent bovines. Woo! Them into the ground. That cow went a flying. Okay, ah, the lake's right over here. Okay. I'll take you, Mr. Cow, and let's give you a good old dunk a dunk. Uh huh, okay. Uh, looks like water did some damage to us. Okay, yep. Damages our shields. We can slam them into the ground, or we can launch them. Let's launch this guy at the house. <laughs> I'm 
Imagine having a cow fly through your living room window. Mm, Martha, you didn't tell me we was having barbecue for dinner. Oh my God! Look Wait at his teeth. That ain't steak. That's holy mother, Martha. Give me the shotgun. Come on, Martha. This looks like a job for the Zapomatic. Fry that farmer. Pew pew. Oh wow. Okay. This was not pew pew. This was. Okay, we have to extract DNA. Press the button repeatedly to speed it up. Mmm. Brainstem. Mm, she's got normal teeth. Hello, Missy. <laughs> Appropriate response. Not gonna lie, probably do the same thing. <laughs> okay, uh, as long as your shields have energy, they protect you from taking damage. When you get hit or touch water, shield deplete. Shield bar turns red. You're out of energy. Any hit could be lethal. Collect brain stems. Reduces the shield recharge delay. The saucer also has a shield to recharge. Use its drain ability on humans and vehicles. The saucer does not recharge automatically. Okay. Let none survive. Let's fry this guy. We will pick up his buddy. Slam him against over there. Give me your brain, please, sir. Looks like we got we got a guy coming up on us. Okay. Mm, plucking them brain stems, my fave. And oh, I will have a oh, <laughs> have a barrel to the face. Uh, okay, so our gun does have power, so we do need to make sure that we. Switch it up a little bit. I wasn't able to get all the brains. How did she manage to get past us? We got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. Yep. What is that? A new silo? Electrocuted him with a big old crypto. That human law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those pea brains were to get their hands on your quantum deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space time continuum. Well, let's go eat their brains. Oh, the Furonity. Vaporize them, Crypto. Uh, okay, so we have a jetpack that we can use to get over this water here by holding down space while we're in the air. Oh, excellent. Doesn't last very long. We want to make sure we don't take any damage. And let's kill some humans. Slam him into the ground. All right. Eat some brains. Nom, 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 nom. Or the merrier, I say. Okay. Hold E to enter the saucer. Oh, sweet. Uh, okay. Ooh. Kind of weird that up and down is your height control. But, not, not too bad. It, it kind of makes aiming feel a little weird, but... Okay, our, our death laser does recharge automatically, kind of like our gun. These explosions are pretty epic, too. Uh, <laughs> I like those big old smoke clouds that are coming out of it. The military is here. You got a funny face. They, they, they did a good job with the faces in this game, I will say. Like, uh, I've already made a couple of comments on them, and we don't really see that in a lot of games. Oh, great. The human military industrial complex. We can't allow them to alert their leaders to our presence. Exterminate them. The military was here? Oh, I'm sure the government would know. Time for some death ray. Destroy all humans. 
Oh, you know it's good when they use the line in the game. Or when when, when they use the title in the in the game. <gasps> Not in the bushes! Well, we will have to kill all humans. Uh, can we drain humans as well? We can. Oh, this guy's still alive. We will death laser beam him some more. Oh yeah, here's another another tank or APC, whatever it is. Can't really tell from this high up. And one more little human. Not on my planet. Oh, oh, they're sneaking up behind us. Uh, okay, uh, let's let's see about recharging our shields. There we go. Okay, we got him, and we got one guy on the ground. And one more guy. Let's bam. We are the aliens of the future. All hail your new leaders, little blue alien boys. Oh, Maud, what's going on over here? No, no, these look like businessmen. Got his pinstripe suit on. Did Whoa. You see what I saw? That you face. Bet your sweet ass I did. What did you see? Little green man in a flying saucer wiping Blue, out the sir. three unit in the U.S. Army. Right, good. Me too. Green? Not gray? Don't be a stiff. You know what it means? What? Absolutely. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. The eggheads were actually onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it. Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on. Bring it. Mission success. Hey, okay, 90%. Uh, kill the farmer's wife using a chicken. Okay, we, we missed that, but that's all right. Got 900 DNA, and we've unlocked a whole bunch of stuff. Sweet. Okay, back to the mothership. Battle mutilation pandemic. Farmer disappears against abuse. Now then. I know what you're thinking. What can I, a lowly novice, do to help bring about the destruction of Earth and the inevitable reign of the Furon Empire? Well, I'll tell you. It was in the earliest days of the Empire we realized our species was doomed. Eons of waging war on inferior races with unregulated atomic weaponry had mutated our genes. We could not propagate due to our complete and utter lack of genitalia. Fortunately, a Furon ship happened upon Earth on its way back from destroying the Martians. Human society was young and nubile. Sailors on a foreign planet letting off steam, one thing led to another. Long story short, every human being alive today has buried deep in his genetic code a strand of Furon DNA. Oh. Over the eons, we've learned to clone ourselves. But with each iteration, the information degrades, and the results are increasingly unpredictable. The Furon genes in humanity's DNA are ancient, uncorrupted. They represent the future of the Furon race. If only we can get at them. Okay. Let's get at it. Welcome to my little laboratory. You may not have known this, but I flatter myself to be something of an inventor. In my spare time, I've been developing some truly impressive weapon and ability upgrades. I'd be happy to share them with you. If you've got something for me in trade, say some of that delicious DNA you've collected. <laughs> hmm? Delicious. So I'm going to start saying that word from now on. Okay, so it looks like this is our upgrade screen. Let's see what we got for crypto. Zapomatic. We can iridium arc splitter or fluxo cell capacitor. Increases battery. Okay, what do we else? What else we got? Disintegrator ray. We do not have enough. Oh, anal probe. Our favorite probe. 
Uh, you know what? Since we really... Oh, brain extraction. Mm. Let's see, brain extract is transmitted to another specimen when the human's head explodes. Oh, so what do these upgrades do for us? Maybe make it go faster? I think, I think we're going to keep it uh, simple, and we're just going to upgrade our laser pew-pew gun for right now. See what we got for the saucer. Probably the same thing. Yeah, our different abilities and upgrades, and we can upgrade our death ray charge. Oh, make it burn the ground. All right, let's see what we got in the archives. Okay. Mission select. All right. New mission, Earth Welcome. Earth Women are delicious. I will say I do agree. Back down to the planet we go. Mr. Multiverse, look at that stud. I see a horde of humans up ahead, congregating at some sort of holy ground. Here's the plan. I want you to enter the fair, find a malleable human, and lead it back to your ship for questioning. Get the picture. Okay. Police must not be alerted. The eye icon shows whether or not a human is looking at you. Blue icon shows if you're... Uh, if you are still disguised or unnoticed, the alert level will not increase. The eye icon lights up when humans see an alien or alien activity. Prevent the alert level from increasing by neutralizing human witnesses. The gauge turns yellow if witnesses are escaping, activating the corresponding alerts. The first level increases human awareness, while higher levels are more hazards. And finally, during stealth missions, stay below the indicated threshold or the mission will fail. Lower the alert level by first escaping uh, to break line of sight and then laying low or activating a holobob. Crypto! Okay. That human is aware of your presence. The more people become aware of you, the more chance that those human policemen and the military will come to investigate you and take you down. Okay. Uh, res re reset a marked creature's awareness. Press X. Okay. Oh, we can zap them into brains. Don't forget to disguise yourself, Crypto. You're not exactly inconspicuous, you know. Okay. Let's hollow bob ourselves. Aha, sweet. Okay, hollow bob abilities take on human form disguise. Uh, scanning human brains with the cortex scanner regenerates hollow bob. Hollow bob will drop if not regularly recharged. Using powerful mental abilities, weapons, or other offenses, offensive actions disrupts Hollow Bob, making it deplete faster and briefly revealing you. Hollow Bob will be compromised if humans witness its activation or disruption. Now okay. that you're sufficiently disguised, continue using the cortex scan to maintain the illusion. You wouldn't want to lose concentration while surrounded by enemies. Okay. Get over to the fair in a quick like manner. I gotta find me a policeman, then a construction worker, and then maybe an Indian. I'd make me a barbershop quartet like no other. So that that's really what you're thinking while you're peeping in the back seat of a car doing that. Uh-huh. Oh, I highly doubt that for some reason. We will take the policeman's mind. To serve and protect, to swerve and defect. Oh, to uh, swerve and defect. That sounds about right. Weakest willed, most malleable human we can find. Admittedly, the competition will be fierce. Okay, let's scan people until we find a weak one. Changes a lot. What I need is a farm hands union. Let's see Brando make a movie about that. What exactly did Dr. Kenzie mean by deviant? I bet he was talking about Billy Bob. I feel a sudden irresistible urge to wear pants and change my name to Ellie Mae. Good for you, honey. Good for you. For oh, yeah, beef. Again. I want a salad. Is that so wrong? That's, that's horrible. Uh, I, should, I should just alien suck out your brains right now. Always beef for dinner. Mm-hmm. I agree. Ooh. Ooh, I'm not, not sure what that gave us, but looked cool. 
Vortex scan, please. Man, oh man, she might be the dumbest Miss Rockwell ever. And check out them cantaloupes. <laughs> God, I love America. Mm -mm. This human seems to be onto something. Will wonders never cease. Keep scanning the humans. So that's what they mean by a roll in the hay. Seems like a whole lot of nothing to me. Every time I go in that barn, all I can think about is Jane Russell in the hay. Va boom! <laughs> Would it kill her to use tofu? Oh, wait, uh, tofu? What the heck kind of thinking is that? Meat! Meat! I like meat! Why People have never even heard of tofu before back in this time. Me? That seems very odd. Hey, who else we got? Oh, the mayor. Really nice yeah, and dumb. Yeah, yeah, town's doing great. Business is booming. Hope is on the way. Yada, yada, yada. Let's uh, barrel through this puppy so I can get down to the real business of governing. Making time with the delicious Miss Rockwell. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. That's probably what everybody's thinking. Proteins from the primordial ooze. A pattern is emerging. Scan some more human minds, crypto. I want to have over for a barbecue. He's got my vote. Not that sleaze bag, huh? No, think about baseball. Think about baseball. Oh, Rock Hudson. No, no. Baseball. Think about baseball. Keep self distracted, sir. Harry Grant and Gary Cooper. Now that's what I call town and country. That's right, baby. Okay. It almost looks like there's specific people it wants me to scan. Yeah, here we go. I want to marry Miss Rockwell, but instead I got to sit here hour after hour, day after day. I bet you she's going to be inside the uh, pop-up tent here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Hey, Miss Rockwell. Heard some people thinking about your melons there, Miss Rockwell. Mama made me take one more slurp of cabbage soup. Mmm, cabbage chicken. soup. Mmm, chicken of the sea. Or was it by the sea? All right. All right, Crypto. I have analyzed all the thoughts you've collected, and I think I've isolated the perfect subject for you to probe and vaporize. No. Abduct and bring back to the mothership. Aww. My way's more fun. Abduct, not vaporize. Anal probe, okay, not but vaporize. Ain't gonna annihilate itself. All I'm saying. Can I finish? Can I stop you? As I was saying, the newly crowned Miss Rockwell looks like a prime candidate for testing. Uh huh. She's uh -huh. And desired by other humans. She's highly persuadable. Uh -huh. Best of all, she apparently has a brain the size of a peanut. Hypnotize her and send her back to your ship for collection. Implant a command on a puny human brain. Bend its will to ours. Okay, let's hypnotize her. I want to thank all the little people, but there's no time. Gotta go! Oh, we need to be posing as the mayor. Okay, let's... Let's get back here so nobody can see us, and I think it was F? Yeah, there we go. We're now the mayor. Come on, Miss Rockwell. Let's boogie. All right, we need to go to the other side of the fair, Missy, if you wouldn't mind. Which way is the exit? Gotta, gotta keep sucking their brains to stay as the mayor. Come on, honey. It's okay. I must go to the dark and mysterious woods. There's no reason to be afraid. Nothing bad ever happens to people who go into dark and mysterious Again, dialogue in this game is great. Especially not in fairy tales. Or slasher films. Not that I know what these are. Nope. Nothing to worry about here. Okay. That's fine. We'll just suck on your brains a little bit. Of course, I can't ever remember where I parked. Oh, we're parked right up the way, honey. It's okay. And saucer shaped. Whoa. This is just like my dream. La 
All right. This was cool. And lots of wavy hair like Libera. Wait a minute. Liberace? Liberia? This sure doesn't look like the pie eating contest. Mm hmm. Uh oh. Welcome to abduction. Uh oh. What's happening? Prime yourself and get ready. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, right there. That's the spot. Oh, that is delicious. Lot, lots of into windows in this game. I have a big smile on my face. This, this, this is fun. Hurry, Crypto. The authorities are on their way. Get in your saucer. Get in the chopper. Wreak havoc by using your saucer's abducto beam to levitate a creature or object. Oh, we got a La Capa shooting at us. Um, okay. Alright, uh, so we need to destroy a building with the abducto beam. Who's shooting at us? Okay, we got some tanks over here. No big deal. We will suck out their shields and blow them up. Let's see. Is that what? Yeah, okay, that is what it wants us to do. I will take you, Mr. Tank, and throw you over there. Bam! Okay, all right, this is cool. All right, and to continue the destruction. I, uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. I was not expecting this game to be quite like this. I, I was really expecting more of a, of a mindless shooter. And, and this is it like it's chill. It's relaxed. But there's 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 a lot of cool stuff to do. There's a lot of fun stuff to do. And the fairgrounds are demolished. Mission success. Disaster at Walk Brockwell Fair. Fairgrounds left in tatters by Freak Storm. Well, that's some good Photoshop for, you know, like back in the 60s. Okay, guys, I think that is going to do it for today's video. So, should you buy Destroy All Humans? Uh, I, I had a lot of fun with this. You know, I think, I think if you're looking for like a chilled, relaxed, you know, kind of shoot 'em up game that has all sorts of different things to do, uh, I would most definitely give this game a yes. I, I, I want to play more of this game. We may even start up a little series over Destroy All Humans. Uh, this was really cool. I think that you would most definitely enjoy it. It's not really a shooter. It's uh, it's it's a it's kind of got its own little niche. There's some shooting, but there's there's so many other things to do. That second mission really threw me for a loop. I was expecting to get into this and be playing like a a mindless shooter where you're just you know running around killing humans and blowing up buildings. Uh, but it seems like there's a lot more depth to it. You know, let, let me know your thoughts over the game. Uh, are, are you going to be buying Destroy All Humans? Let me know down in the comments. And if you've enjoyed today's video, you've liked hanging out with me, please consider dropping me a like and subscribe. Click that little bell icon as well so that you get notifications as soon as these videos come out so you know where to spend your hard-earned money. Thank you for watching. You guys are awesome. I love you. Keep it up, and I will see you next time.